Hey guys, what is up? This is NHU, new Halo updates. I am Jake, and today I have some awesome news for you guys. Now, I just wanted to give a brief explanation for why I haven't been uploading videos in the last few weeks. And that is simply because school has started. I am now a junior, and I am taking two AP college courses this year. Not to mention an honors course I'm taking as well. Now, I'm just getting into the stages for preparing for college, so that is more important to me than making videos, although I am going to college for film and video editing school. Anyway, you guys probably don't want to hear me ramble on about my life. On to the Halo 4 news! By the way, it's only coming out in a few short months. Oh my god. Since I can't really upload on a regular basis, I'm really going to be uploading what I think is the most important, but in this video I'm going to summarize everything I missed. Now the first thing I want to look at is the new Jackal model for Halo 4. It is called the Storm Jackal, and as you can see, it looks a whole lot scarier than the original Jackals that you know and love. I mean, you could see how like thick its neck is, and how sharp its teeth is, and like how freaking awesome its claws are, and it just looks fast and beastly. And I know that it's different from the Jackal we know and love, obviously, um, because it's a new variation of Jackal. Now, as you know, Master Chief has been in space for a long time, and you don't know what kind of, where these Jackals are coming from. They could be coming from another planet. It's like Earth, where there are different types of humans all over the place in terms of looks. So this, boom, is a new variation of Jackal. Now, the second part of the article that I wanted to go over is a part that shows a picture of the Elite Ranger, which, as you know, was in Halo Reach, but it looks completely completely different. So will this be a type of jetpack elite like previous Halo games or will this just be a completely new class of elite that looks amazing by the way? Now it also shows some other models that are going to be in Halo 4 but nothing is really new there. It just shows some new Spartan 4s that are going to be appearing in the game as well as Thomas Lasky which is the captain of the UNSC Infinity and Master Chief which looks badass. Now the second part of information I have is a video that shows some of the UNSC weapons. Now again, all the sources will be in the description as always. So go ahead and click it, watch it, come back if you want. It just shows pretty much an amazing combination of weapons, a montage that looks amazing. The graphics are so sick, but it shows just sniper rifle gameplay, rocket launcher gameplay, shotgun, saw gameplay, a drum barrel weapon in Halo, oh my god. But it looks amazing. You can also catch a few little things like the Promethean pistol, which is like a mini flamethrower and it also shows like a green gas grenade or poison in the corner of the screen if you want to catch that but it's an amazing trailer there's two variations I think one has epic music and the other has dubstep and it's just pretty awesome definitely watch that Another bit of information I have right now on Halo 4 multiplayer is the specializations or perks in Halo 4. Now I won't have enough time to go over every single one right now, but the link of the article will be in the description below. I will go over the names of the perks though. There's Wetworks, Pioneer, Engineer, Tracker, Rogue, Stalker, Pathfinder, and Operator. So definitely look at that article. This will change Halo multiplayer forever. Forever. Now, I don't know if this will be a good thing or a bad thing, but I really hope they'll be adding more perks in the future, changing it up a bit. Maybe there will be a ninth perk that will allow you to dual wield weapons. I, that was one of the top comments when I looked at the article, but that would be a great, amazing idea. So definitely check that out and just... <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. The next bit of information I have is about the Fotis armor in Halo 4, and I have to say, this looks amazing. Oh my god. Now, a lot of people think it looks like a unicorn with a big spike jutting out of its head. This would make a really great villain in terms of machinima if you just slap this armor onto a Spartan. It would be a great, like, villain. So even though I already have an Xbox, I'm gonna go on eBay and I'm gonna buy this DLC code, or this, uh, added on content code um, to get the Photos armor, even though it only comes with the Xbox 360 Halo 4 edition. Now I'm not going to go over the next bit of information I have very long because I have a ton of things to talk about, but this is pretty much a concept art for a Halo 4 multiplayer map or a campaign map, I don't know, but it looks pretty sick. The next bit of information I have is probably the most exciting, to me anyways. It's pretty much the information of the Halo 4 soundtrack. Now, keep in mind guys that this soundtrack will not include all of the songs, I'm assuming, because the soundtrack is coming up before Halo 4. Just keep in mind that these songs are going to be amazing. 
Now a few details on the soundtrack. It will be available on October 22nd and it will feature 15 tracks which is around 75 minutes of the soundtrack by Neil Davidge. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But the songs that are going to be featured on the soundtrack are Awakening, Belly of the Beast, Requiem, Legacy, Faithless, Nemesis, Haven, Ascendancy, Solace, To Galaxy, Immaterial, 117, haha, <laughs> Arrival, Revival, and Green and Blue. So, God, I can't wait for that. That's going to be awesome. It's also going to include a special bonus feature DVD and an exclusive Avatar t shirt download code. The next bit of information shows the entire achievement list for Halo 4. Now me personally, I do not want to read them, even though I fill you guys in on the Halo 4 news, I don't want to read them because I don't want spoilers. So the link will be in the description for everybody who wants to read them. I have nothing against people who want to know what they are, just me personally, I want to be completely blown away by Halo 4 and I don't want any spoilers about the missions or what you have to do for achievements because usually the first time I play through the game, I want to play it for fun. and after Afterwards, I just play it for achievements. Now there were some details mentioned about the PAX Prime event about Halo 4 and they just said in the bulletin that there may or may not be a new game type revealed at PAX Prime which probably means yes. Actually it means probably 100% even if they mentioned it they have to show it. Well technically that's not true but still why would they say it? Anyway and they would also show a new multiplayer map or campaign level that I'm super excited about. I can't wait for PAX Prime. Now the bulletin says that PAX Prime will be on Saturday, September 1st, 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. So stay tuned for that date. Now they will probably be releasing videos that day as well related to Halo 4, so check back to this channel if I upload the video. Now on Halo4Nation.com there are pictures of two new helmets of Halo 4. One is called Strider which kind of looks more normal and the other is called Scanner which has that big bulky type of binocular things that look like they would flip down. Now I'm just excited about all these different types of helmets that are coming out because they will serve greatly in machinima purposes for adding more varied characters and i'm just super pumped that they're releasing all these helmets i'm crazy excited about the number of helmets they're going to be and they're just showing their new ones they're not even showing like the old revamped ones yet so i'm excited about that that's going to be crazy awesome i'm super excited for the new armor in halo 4. now it's funny because the gravity hammer is making an appearance in halo 4 but frank o'connor clearly stated that there will be no brutes but there will be a part of the story that explains why there are no brutes but there are gravity hammers because gravity hammers are the brutes weapons and i'm just wondering if spikers will make a return as well now the last two bits of information i have talks about the halo 4 forward unto dawn web series trailer it's called Enlist, and you definitely should watch it. The link will be in the description. And it's just about Thomas Lasky and a few other recruits telling about their experiences and how they got involved in the UNSC. The other bit of information I have relates to the Halo 4 Spartan Ops, and Frank O'Connor clearly stated that Spartan Ops will be longer than the entirety of the Halo 3 ODST campaign. In essence, we're getting two full campaigns into one game. Unbelievable. I cannot wait. Just making this video has gotten me excited about Halo 4. I am super psyched. Alright guys, that's all the information I have right now. I'm again sorry that school has started that I can't make more videos than I am now, but I thank you for hanging in there. Just thank you so much for watching. Spread this to your friends. Like if you're psyched for Halo 4. Remember, I have a Halo 4 giveaway, limited edition. So that video will be in the link in the description. So check that out. I will be giving away a free, no cost, Halo 4 limited edition copy. So all you have to do is subscribe and subscribe to NHU Gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been NHU, new Halo updates. I am Jake, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.